Now it is. Welcome back to the vlog channel, boys. In today's video, we're rolling through South Central right. Kentucky, just east of Monticello, starting at the Freedom Church Swinging Bridge. The ride here was incredible with twisty back roads and great mountain views of the Lower Daniel Boone National Forest. Starting at the bridge area, we had a river crossing to tackle first, and then the plan was to take Pilot Rock Road, which looked to be a tough little loop track that showed up as a public road on Google Maps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my feet got wet. Fortunately, the river was pretty shallow, but it was still a little slick for a couple of adventure noobs. And as soon as we crossed the river, there was a little rocky section before our sharp left at the top of the hill. Here, pick a line. We made it. <laughs> We're adventure riding now, brother. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we made it. <laughs> We're just not very good at this yet. Yeah. Yeah, this is up there with uh, some of the more technical f me. Ah, uh, end of the road. Oh, it was just, just starting to get workable. So yeah, that sucked. The road ended up being gated, which comes with the territory sometimes, but we had more riding to do, and what we got to see of Pilot Rock Road was pretty cool, so it wasn't a complete letdown. Yeah, it was a little sketch. Yeah, we're good. We jumped back on Freedom Church Road and worked our way south towards 92. Freedom Church Road was a much more groomed gravel road that meanders through a remote wooded area, which is really pretty in the fall. I don't know where we are. My, my plan was to do that loop, so... Let me look for a minute.
wild ass road. Simultaneously, not as much adventure riding and way more adventure riding than I was planning. <laughs> Black Bear Country. Fuck, I ain't scared. <laughs> it's best to be the baddest bear in the country when you're in Black Bear Country. actually part of the cat. We actually go all the way back into Kentucky on this road. And then we'll uh, we'll jump over on another road, come back down this way, and then hopefully hit some pretty sweet twisties on the way back. Because always I should probably tell you for the camera, we're out in Big South Fork and uh, we come down from central Kentucky, so it was about three hours to get here, but what a beautiful drive all the way. Very, uh, you know, the closer you get to Tennessee, the, the prettier it becomes, but uh, we had an awesome, awesome trip out. It is an absolute beauty day. But we come down here to check out some pieces of the Kentucky Adventure Trail, starting in Big South Fork. This is Divide Road which uh, starts right across the street from Pickett State Park, and it is part of Big South Fork. So, quite a bit of travel, quite, 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 quite a bit of travel to get on out here. This is a, so far, chip gravel, which kind of sucks, but, it's a long road and there's a lot of them out here. So what do you say, FB? We'll get into something. I am very glad to have FB along today. The further you get away from home, the sketchier it is by yourself. And it feels like I've done a lot of these trips by myself lately, so I am absolutely thrilled to have old FB on the Tenere. And maybe we'll talk a little bit about the differences between the Tenere and the Africa Twin. Because when we decided we were going to buy adventure bikes, that's kind of what we went back and forth on. And ultimately, I ended up with the Africa Twin, and FB got a brand new Tenere, and we paid about the same price for them, really. But I think they're uh, they're pretty comparable bikes for the most part. I was wanting something a little bit more two up oriented. And uh, I think FB, you were wanting something that you thought was going to be a little bit better in the dirt, right? I've talked about before, these big bikes, they're not very easy to ride off-road. So we just went all for it and got the big heavy ones. The logical step probably would have been uh, figure it out on a dual sport, maybe? <laughs> But I'll tell you what, that three hour trip down would not have been any fun on a dual sport. All right, he said there's not a dual sport out there that's gonna be comfortable running 75 miles an hour. And when you got a three hour trip to get to the dirt roads you're wanting to ride, these are the bikes to do that on. There's no doubt about it. So this turned into more of a dirt road now, thankfully. This is a heck of a lot better than that uh, 
chip gravel, I'd say. Yep, I'm in full-on dirt mode. I got the ABS off. Got the traction control down a little bit. I'd say that's probably my concern for the day. I have been on these uh, Shinko, what are these? They're like the 705s. Shinko Trailmasters, and they have been a great tire, but I've got 11,000 miles on them now. They're basically road slicks. I've had another set in the garage for a while, but haven't gotten around to swapping them out. But the problem is right now they're in that uh, they're in that really good area of being great on the road. And that's where I ride most of the time, but there's not a whole lot of grabby parts left for this kind of stuff, which isn't an issue so far but based on the terrain coming out here today i would say we are probably gonna see some hills back here but i don't think it's going to be too much of a problem what a perfect day for this fb so we've talked about the difference between the africa twin like a used africa twin the 2016 to 2019 before but i would say you know these bikes are super comparable in power with the africa twin it feels like you're losing a couple hundred cc's and with the tenere it feels like you're getting all of the 700 that you bought which really kind of makes them similar and the only big difference we've found is uh kind of like the highway cruising where i'm in a little bit lower rpms and uh i wanted to do more two up riding so I decided for the Africa Twin, I'd say we're, we're both absolutely thrilled with these bikes. They've been really fun. The only thing that could make me want to change my mind about the Africa Twin is if Yamaha comes out with a, a Tenere 900, but I'm getting to the point where I kind of really appreciate, you know, the traction control and the button ABS. But the new Africa Twins, they're a little bit more electronic laden. So it'll be interesting to see if Yamaha brings that Tenere out, what they're actually going to do with it as far as uh, the electronics package. If they're going to try to compete with the Africa Twin 1100s or if they're just going to try to make um, kind of a more stout 700, which I think both bikes would be cool, so maybe they bring them out in different trims. But uh, we expect that it's coming. But I'm going to be interested to see what they do with it if they give it a little bit higher end suspension or um i would imagine it's gonna with being a bigger bike it's gonna have a few more of the rider aids i know that's what you're waiting for too huh oh good there's a twin arches trailhead <laughs> not it we didn't come out here to hike <laughs> Well, we were just back at Middle Creek Trailhead and it said Twin Arches, seven miles. I'm like, oh, damn, that's a that's a 14 mile round trip hike. No, thank you. See, we got fit this year. We both lost uh, a combined, what, like 110 pounds or something, super. We lost like a person. Combined, just about. But our fitness is, how have I described this before? It's cosmetic only. <laughs> it hasn't made me. It hasn't made me want to do, you know, more physical activity. I just want to look like I'm capable of it. Oh, as we get going, it feels like this road is is getting better. It's a little bit more hard pack and uh, it, it's pretty flowy. Uh-oh, where do we go? Divide Road, that's nice. They made a little sign. Look at this. Oh shit, did I turn on Divide Road? Who knows? I think so. Yeah, I took a wrong turn. <laughs> Man, 
That's true. FB says there are no wrong turns on FB bike on uh, ADV bikes. So yeah, shoot, we'll just go see where this goes. I like it when there's grass in the middle of the road. Whoa. I don't know if those are mushrooms or giant bear poop, but my god, if there's a bear dropping deuces like that, we better get out of here. He's definitely the biggest, baddest bear in the woods. I'm gonna turn around. After we turned around, we got back on track on Divide Road. For a few minutes anyway. It didn't take long before I made our next wrong turn. We'll call this one wrong turn two. Dead end. Unrated. Super deep stuff in here. It told it said go right very very clearly. Now it says make a U-turn. It was obvious the main road was to the left, but I thought it knew what it was talking about. Yeah. Three three point one miles we'll be back in Kentucky. Divide road, long road. Man, it's a it's a whole freaking dirt road infrastructure back here. It is like I guess I should let the viewers know we just got lost. We were way, way off course, which seems to happen a lot. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, that was a butthole pucker hill. I, I hate that chunky rock. You could tell they just you could tell they just set all that chunky rock there for traction because that hill gets washed out. It ain't bad down here. But we're back on Divide Road now. After about a I don't know, 12 mile detour. My like stupid GPS and uh there was something stupid in the equation, but I think it was me. Actually, it was kind of cool. We get to hit a little bit more dirt than we were anticipating. This road must get pretty washed out. I didn't get on camera, but we totally had to fight a whole bunch of black bear. That's why, that's why you leave the GoPro on. So we get to go home with some bear hides. <laughs> yeah, this is this is really pretty. This is uh, yeah, probably one of the better rides you and I have ever been on. Getting here was awesome. What was that 127 we were on? Once you get down into Tennessee, oh my God, that was. And we're rolling like 30 miles an hour. It felt like we were doing 90. I know they put this big old chunk rock going downhill. It just throws a damn bike everywhere. And they say, oh, go faster on this chunky shit. Yeah, that would be nice. But I don't like to go fast downhill because your freaking oh shit brake feels a lot different when you got uh, downward momentum. These are nice, flowy, like not very, not very difficult roads at all. And you know, we both thought that uh, we were going to get back into these hollers, and it was going to be like some super gnarly up and downhill and that kind of thing. But oh, these have been really tame, very flowy, just kind of like enjoy the scenery kind of roads. It's been fun. I think eventually I'll have done the entire Kentucky Adventure Trail. It just won't all be in one trip. <laughs> Keep finding bits and pieces of it. Back home in Kentucky. Oh, my GPS even said, welcome to Kentucky. Which is crazy. It feels like we, we went a lot further in Tennessee coming down the pavement. And you hit this dirt road and it goes straight up 
back across the border. Believe it or not, we've been back in the woods for about two and a half hours. Heck yeah. Well, we can go any damn which way we please, I suppose. We'll take a break and find our next destination. This is all I was really navigating to, to be honest. 